firms and investors can look forward to monthly opportunities to network and make deals at the annual Singapore Week of Innovation and Technology, or SWITCH, this year. It's now been expanded from a week-long conference into a year-long movement. Brennan Tanoto with more. This autonomous robot can paint walls, while this one disinfects surfaces. They're high-tech solutions by Transformer Robotics to do menial tasks in the construction industry. We can help those contractors to um, adopt more um, uh, robot solutions to help them to uh, improve their productivity. And actually, in this time of pandemic, it's more or less, it's more or less to uh, help them to compensate for the uh, insufficient manpower. The company managed to grow its business after taking part in innovation challenges at last year's Switch, organised by government agency Enterprise Singapore. Provide us a, a venue to develop innovative product uh, and with the, uh, the potential partners like uh, big MNCs. So um, like for Transforma, uh, we participate in those open challenge and then did find a good partner for help us to, to grow in those area and because they are big M MNC partners, though the the growth trajectory is, is, is there. Speaking at a visit to the firm, Manpower Minister Tan Si Leng says the aim is to help more like it capture new opportunities from the events programs that will now span a year. See how they can collaborate and work together to not just resolve industry's needs but also to potentially grow overseas into external markets outside of Singapore as well. Now, in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic, the government remains committed to support SME startups through programs like Switch, like Slingshot and multiple other grants to help them to level up, to be able to gain competitive advantage, to be able to have a leg up in competing with the world. Dr Tan adds that such programs are crucial in Singapore's innovation and R&D strategy. This year's Switch will be a hybrid of virtual and physical events. It garnered over 15,000 participants from 42 cities last year.